Hello guys, where are you? Uh, today I'm very pleased to introduce you uh, a great wife from Burgundy. It's not a very well-known uh, appellation, but it's really something that we can uh, focus on. Uh, it's really proving also that besides the famous name, we can uh, find and uh, have a high quality of uh, uh, white wine for very good value for money. Uh, this is a Bourgogne uh, Côte d'Auxerre, uh, made by um, a Chardonnay made by Baye Lapierre Winery, uh, very well known for the production of sparkling wine Cremant Bourgogne. The vintage is uh, 2016, which is great vintage in Burgundy. Uh, let's taste the wine. Uh, first of all, let's have a look. Uh, let's see the color. Um, well, the, the, the wine is really showing a yellow pale color. It's very bright, clean. The intensity is medium. Um, also, you can see that the, um, on the side uh, you have a little bit of goldish uh, hue which means that the wine is uh, I think a little bit changing, developing and then the nose wow it's uh, very very nice, it's very fresh you have this lemony citrusy uh, character following by also a touch of um, white blossom flavor um, and then it's also showing a little bit of yeasty and brioche toasty character uh, it's very pleasant, uh, very charming, uh, and also the wine really reminds me uh, this um, breeze marine that you have uh, when you walk on the seafront near the beach. Uh, so now let's um, let's taste to the wine. Uh, this is great. So the wine is very fresh, crisp, dry. The acidity is high. It's very precise, very sharp. Uh, on the middle palate, you get the same flavor as, as a nose, so it's really a citrusy with a little bit of salty um, character at the back. Uh, it's actually also uh, rich, um, it's very lingering, it stays uh, easily a few minutes in your uh, palate uh, and the one can last for a few more years, I'm sure, eh? easily five years uh, in your cellar. Um, it's very well balanced, I really like this kind of wine, there's a lot of minerality into it. Uh, it's very similar as a Chablis style. Uh, for the pairing, I will suggest you to go for seafood or also goat cheese. But let me surprise you with a sandwich. Uh, uh, it will be perfect during the summer when it's really hot. Uh, you can make a sandwich with a salmon and trout uh, or trout. Uh, but also um, with a thin slice of green apple, uh, goat cheese and cucumber. This will bring a lot of freshness in the sandwich and will be just a great pairing with this white. Uh, well, thank you for listening. Please feel free to uh, subscribe and uh, like our page. Um, and um, see you soon. Bye bye. Well, oh, mm. Let's have uh, another sip. It's so good wine. Thank you, Gabriel, for this awesome video, and I'm totally with you on uh, reviving uh, Forgotten Appalachians. And so that's the end of the video, guys. Really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, just as a side note, our wines are still available for home delivery if you're interested, so just click on the link in the description. And finally, for any suggestions or comments or any thoughts, uh, make sure to drop us a comment down below. We would love to uh, chat further with you guys. And last but not least, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and press the bell icon for regular updates. Talk soon, guys!